be showing you how to how to paint this watercolor pumpkin. Enjoy! For this tutorial, you will need a pencil, a palette, an eraser, yellow ochre watercolor paint, crimson red watercolor paint, vermilion, burnt sienna, black, lemon yellow, sap green, and deep green, and burnt umber. And of course, you'll need your canvas. Let's get started. So first, you want to put all your colors on the palette. It should look something like this. Now you have to dip your brush in a tiny bit of water. And then scrape it off on the side. Now, take the ye lemon yellow. and the orange, well, vermilion, and then mix that together. It should make a, a sort of orange color, like a bright orange. Then add a tiny bit of um, burnt sienna, and then add it into the orange, I mean the, <laughs> the vermilion and the yellow and the lemon yellow. Now it should look something like this. Then dip your brush in the water a tiny bit. And then scrape a tiny bit off to the side. Then First, you want to make a tiny, well, you might want to get a little bit more water. Now, first off, make a little stroke like this. Then, make another one like this. You don't want to make too many lines, or else it won't look like there's a line in between this. Then, make another one over here. Like that. And then make another one over here, and then one in the middle. I know right now it kind of looks just like a blob, but it won't soon. Then... Since we added water into that last one, you want this part to be more concentrated for the lines. So, dip your brush into a little bit of, of your mixture of paint. And then go along the line. The lines of the paint. I mean, of the pumpkin. Sort of like this. It looks something like this now. And then dip your brush into some water to take out all that orange. And then now we're going to start making these lines look more noticeable. So take a small brush like this one and then dip it into your water. Then take a little bit of this mixture and a little bit of the burnt sienna and mix it together. It should look sort of red, like a dark orange or dark brown, I mean light brown. Then go around the lines of the pumpkin like this. It should sort of blend in with the dark orange that you put around the the lines. And it's okay if the pumpkin isn't perfect too.
Now it should look something like this. And dip your brush in water once again. And then take a little bit of vermilion. And put that around where you stopped putting the brown, where it blends in with the orange. And the dark brown. Your dark orange, sorry. Now it should look something like this. Now to blend in the brown with the rest of the pumpkin, take your brush and then just sort of um, just <laughs> blend it in where you just blend it in like this where the line is. So the lines aren't as defined. And they're more just blended in. Now it should look like this. Now you can make enough more lines as you go. If you feel like there's not enough. Just by taking some more of that dark brown that you made. I mean, dark orange that you made with the with the vermilion and the lemon yellow. And then doing the same thing that you did with the other part of it. You don't want too much water, else you'll do what I just did. And then it'll float across the pumpkin. So if that happens, then just take a tiny bit of orange and then just blend it back in. And then it'll look good as it did. Now time to make the stem. So using the same tiny brush, first off you'll take some of your yellow ochre and then put it right here. Then take some burnt sienna and put that over there too. And then also put the burnt umber right here as well and mix it together it should look sort of like a pine cone color and then add a tiny bit of black Now it should look like this. Then take the brush and then you don't want it to be super wet this time. Now take it and then go like this. Maybe I should use a smaller brush. I am using a way smaller brush. Now dip it a tiny bit into some water. And then, you don't want too much water though. And then, go like this and take it and just blend it, or make a line over like this. You can also make a curve like this right here. And then you can add some more if you want to. Since I'm using a smaller brush, it can be more detailed. You can also make the lines go all the way down here like this. Except whenever, like, because whenever you start using the paint, then it gets lighter and lighter, so you want to use more paint once it starts to do that. Now it should look something like this. You can also make it more 
blended in because I know that right now it doesn't look that blended in right here. And then you can add as many curls to the pumpkin stem as you want to. Like this. And also it right here maybe. Get some more paint. If also if the more paint that you use, then the the without water, then it, the paint will run out fast whenever you're painting on the canvas. So you want to get a little bit of water. So since it's watercolor paint, you obviously use water. So mm, you need to use water in order to have your paint keep on lasting as long as it can. So now. It should look something like this. And now it's time to do the background. So first you want to take a medium sized brush like this. It looks sort of like this. And then take your take your primary blue and Prussian, Prussian blue and then mix that together. It should look something like this. And then take quite a bit of water because you don't want it to be super dark blue. And then it should look like this on the brush. So then, well, maybe a tiny bit of more water. More water. Then take off some of the water to where it doesn't blend in a whole bunch with the pumpkin. And then do this. You you don't want it to be, um, well, you, it can be even all the way throughout, but I like it to look sort of uneven, if that makes sense, um, with the color. So some parts could be darker than others, like others like this. And then you want there to be sort of an outline around the pumpkin. And make sure that you don't hit the... where you made the pumpkin or else it'll all blend together and then it won't look good. So now just do this all around the pumpkin and I'll be back whenever I'm done. Now this is how it should look like whenever it's all done. Now if you want to make the lines more defined on the pumpkin then you can take your small brush again, this one, and then take some of your burnt umber and then just go like this around the lines but you don't want to do this around all the whole line because you still want that dark orange to be shown Now this is what it should look like whenever it's all done. Please subscribe for more videos and make sh and make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Bye.